This problem has reached a new stage in its development. A scientific consensus has emerged, and now the debate is over how long before the first effects will actually be felt. As a result, it is moving from the scientific realm into the political realm. Computer models that successfully explain the climates of other planets predict the deaths of forests, parched croplands, the flooding of coastal cities, environmental refugees, widespread disasters in the next century. The gases are predicted to increase the Earth's temperature an average of two degrees across the oceans to eight degrees at the poles in 50 years. In the Carolinas, the increase would be about four or five degrees. Now that doesn't seem like that's much of an increase, but consider this. The most dramatic effect would be the global flooding that would follow the melting of the glaciers. The rising oceans could cover much of the world's coastal plains, devastating low-lying areas like Charleston. Warmer oceans would spawn more powerful and more frequent tropical storms. And finally, a federal report today predicted possible catastrophic warming of the Earth by the 1990s with the strong climate change. Within a few years, it's predicted that uh, due to the ice melt, the sea will rise and make uh, most coastal cities uninhabitable. Is, is this a crisis you're referring to? It is a crisis we're trying to address. I'm not familiar with that specific report. Well, what I can perhaps the reason that. is because uh, it was November 2nd, 1922, that the Washington Post carried this article. 2005 was the most active Atlantic hurricane season on record. It's then followed by a 10-year gap, which is the longest period for the U.S. to avoid a Category 3 or higher hurricane since reliable records began in 1850. So when a reputable climate research institute has its computer server hacked and hundreds of its private emails made public, the news gets around fast, especially from groups that don't believe the global warming consensus. One email attributed to the research center's director had this cryptic excerpt referring to the, quote, trick of adding in the real temps to each series to hide the decline in temperature. We can't account for the lack of warming at the moment, and it is a travesty that we can't. Remember that uh, ship that got stuck in the ice? They were looking at global warming. Well, subsequently, a Chinese rescue boat comes along, launches a helicopter. The helicopter gets 52 people off the stuck ship, takes them to an Australian ship. Here's the update. The original Chinese rescue vessel is now stuck in the ice. The 2013 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that they failed to recognize this pause in global warming. Is that an issue? Do they have a point? There's been this sort of 18 year pause where you don't, it's not warming up. I can't speak to that. I, the, uh, uh, you can't speak to I it. can't speak to that particular IPCC uh, anomaly. anomaly. Uh, the, I mean, the fact is, you know, uh, 